The Democratic Party is grappling with a significant loss in the 2024 US election, where it lost the presidency and both houses of Congress. As the dust settles, many in the party are searching for answers and pointing fingers. Some blame Joe Biden for staying in office too long. Others say Kamala Harris, despite having strong financial support, couldn't replicate the party's 2020 success. Still, others argue that it's the American public at fault, suggesting latent misogyny played a role in the outcome. But blaming voters may be too simplistic. The basket of deplorables theory does not hold up. Voters who supported Biden in 2020, especially in swing states, did not necessarily do so for Harris in 2024. Instead, what this loss shows is a disconnect between the Democrats' message and voter concerns. Beyond this election, there are broader lessons from Harris's loss and Trump's win. Voters, especially the undecided ones, often favor authenticity and clarity over virtue signaling. While Democrats leaned into progressive values, Trump's campaign captured voters with straightforward messaging even if it appeared rough or controversial. This issue is not new for the Democratic Party. Like other center-left groups that emerged post-Thatcher and Reagan, Democrats face the challenge of uniting a diverse base. How can a party address both billionaire supporters like Michael Bloomberg and working-class Americans facing economic uncertainty? In the two-party US system, unifying these groups has proven difficult. Right-wing parties worldwide have managed to build broader social coalitions. Trump gained support from Black and Latino voters in areas he lost in 2016 and 2020. His campaign addressed concrete issues, focusing on job security and an economy built for Americans. On controversial topics like abortion, Trump softened his stance, appealing to a more centrist view. He also capitalized on public concerns about open borders and projected himself as a victim of political witch hunts, strengthening his connection with disenfranchised voters. In contrast, the Harris campaign failed to adopt a coherent narrative, which cost the Democrats key constituencies. Now let's look at the failures of the Harris campaign. Number 1. Gaza and International Conflicts The Biden administration's handling of the Gaza conflict turned college students and Muslim Americans away from Harris. Many viewed her lack of criticism on these issues as complicity, especially in the born Michigan, a swing state with a large Arab-American population. Many viewed her lack of criticism on these issues as complicity, especially in Dearborn, Michigan, a swing state with a large Arab-American population. Number two, not setting the agenda. Harris struggled to set her own agenda, emphasizing gun ownership and crime policies failed to impress Republican-leaning voters. Praising figures like Dick Cheney also made her appear elitist and out of touch with ordinary Americans. Number three, media bias backlash. Some analysts believe a pro-Democrat bias in US media harmed the party. Trump was scrutinized, but Harris received praise. Consequently, voters knew Trump's strengths and flaws, but Harris's campaign appeared rehearsed and superficial. Number four, lack of a grand narrative. Harris's campaign lacked a compelling vision. What does it mean to be left liberal today? The Republicans framed Democrats as restrictive on free speech, capitalizing on public resentment toward cancel culture. Meanwhile, support from Hollywood figures like Beyonce and Taylor Swift made the Democrats seem elite, out of touch with average Americans. Now here's a broader political lesson. The seeds of this democratic defeat were planted years ago, as early as 2016. When Bernie Sanders was gaining momentum in the primaries, he was sidelined. Sanders' message of universal health care, affordable education, and a broader community acceptance was a vision many voters could rally behind. Yet instead of embracing a clear progressive agenda, the Democratic Party leaned into establishment ideals. Harris, with a background and story worth celebrating, was not able to break through the establishment image. And Trump, a billionaire, managed to portray himself as a relatable every man. The Democrats' defeat sends a strong message. If they want to retain the left liberal identity, they need to embrace it fully. Voters see past celebrity endorsements and shallow sound bites. They want authenticity, a clear message, and a coherent vision. For now, that clarity belongs to Trump.